What's going on guys? I hope you're having a great day. Today we are going to be talking about something that's been requested a lot here recently and that is why I'm selling the 850. So we're going to be making a video about that today. I hope you guys do enjoy it. It is definitely bittersweet having to sell the 850 but it's something that we have to do. So we're going to talk about why we have to do that today and you know it's going to make sense to you guys by the end of this video. And we are going to be doing it over a Can-Am vlog so we do have our vlogging set up with our Hero 5 and our Tascam DR05 with our Sony mic. We have it all set up. We're gonna be hitting the trails a little bit today, hitting the dirt roads, and telling you guys why exactly we're doing this and what we have coming for the channel. I think you guys are gonna be really excited. I think we're all gonna be happy with the end result. We just gotta get this thing moved out of here. I have a couple people really super interested in it right now, so hopefully we can close out on that deal within the next five to seven days. And if you are interested in buying this thing, hit me up on Instagram because deals fall through all the time. I'm pretty sure we all know how that goes. Deals can fall through so quickly, so if you are interested in this thing, it is still for sale by all means. Hit me up on Instagram, same thing as my YouTube channel, Paradox. Hit me up in the DMs and I'll let you guys know how much I'm asking for this thing. Again, serious inquiries only. I've been getting a lot of DMs about it and not everybody is you know, really serious about it. So if you do hit me up, make sure you're serious. With all that said guys, we're gonna jump right into the video. Really quick though, I wanted to hit on, and by the way, thank you for the support on the 1000 video, that last video. If you guys haven't checked it out, make sure you guys do. I show you exactly how I cleaned my four wheeler after that last bogs and boulders trip, which turned out to be a great video as well. Getting really good reviews on that. Just getting a lot of support on the channel. I couldn't be more thankful for it, guys. By the way, 24 valve sitting out here, sitting pretty clean. I did wash it the other day. Ducket stickers are for sale on our website, duckduckdiesel.com, which is always linked in the description below. $8 free shipping. Couldn't be higher quality vinyl. You guys seem to love the stickers. We're doing great on sticker sales right now, and I never mention them. I never even really talk about them in my videos. So me and my brother are always talking about how do we sell so many stickers when we never even mention it. So I figured I'd mention it in today's video so you guys don't forget about that we do sell those things. So if you're interested, we do have a backwards hat ducket sticker too and it's just kind of like a lifestyle it's not just a Cummins thing it's not just a truck thing we do have it on my brother's can-am which I'll show you that real quick you can put these things on coolers trucks cars anything it's just a, a lifestyle and we sell a ton of them so it wouldn't be far stretched to say you might see them locally around your area my brother as you can see is repping one on his 850 XMR and I need to get one for my 1000 I actually need to take off all the warning badges been thinking about doing that maybe I'll do that here soon of course this huge one over here and then you got a couple back here I'm thinking about taking off pretty soon peak these new cleats I just got I am huge into football I don't know if you guys know that or not but I did just get these new cams for ankle support because I got pretty bad ankles and just some new gloves because I lost my other ones I did have some really nice ones but had some cutters and another pair of Nikes but I can't find them anywhere since last season and just got a new running jacket also. But I hope you guys enjoy the video. We'll get right out there. I'll stop blabbering on. Easy, very easy. Barely putting her any throttle in her. This 850 hauls ass, man, always has. Very fun bike to ride. Probably the most fun I've had on any bikes has been on this 850. It's what inspired me to get my 1000 XMR. And like I've always told you guys, the Can-Ams, they might not be the best in reliability, but they are so much fun, so much fun. A little chilly out here this morning. Good Lord, it's about October time, I guess. So cold weather's starting to come around. Some bales of hay out here. Farmer's been working pretty hard here recently. All right, so we're just gonna jump right into the video, guys. Like I said, this video is all about answering the question I've been getting a lot here recently in the YouTube comment section or DM on Instagram. I respond to every single DM on Instagram, by the way. So if you're interested in anything uh, from maybe my YouTube setup, I don't even, I don't care, like, or what, you know, what my decision was to join the Army. You know, anything, anything in between, like personal, you know, not too personal, of course, <laughs> but, you know, personal life or professional life or, or whatever your question is. Hit me up on Instagram. I'm pretty good about responding to the DMs on there. But the YouTube comment section, I read every single comment, and I've been getting this a lot. So the reason we're trying to sell the 850 is really simple. I got to make room in my garage for a side-by-side, -side, which is my goal right now is to get, is to get into a side-by-side, -side, whether it be a Can-Am Maverick, whether it be a Polaris Razor, going from a 900 uh, two-seater 
all the way to an 1000 four seater. I haven't really made my decision yet, so I'm not really releasing which one I've decided on getting yet. I'm leaning towards one specific one and one specific uh, brand and model, but I don't want to give that out yet because you know anything can change. I could find a great deal on one side by side and can't pass it up. So it might uh, shift me from one decision to another, and I don't want you guys to you know, question, oh, why did you change your mind last second or something like, you know, something like that. You guys get what I'm saying. Check out the river real quick. See if we see how high it is. Haven't been getting too much rain here recently. Yeah, it's pretty low right now. I don't see any fish in there either. But anyway, like I was saying, we are definitely trying to sell this thing to make room in the garage so that we can get a side-by-side -side fit in there because I'm definitely not leaving a side-by-side -side outside. You guys know how expensive those are. And not just from the fact of it possibly getting stolen. I'm really not too worried about that. Um, you know, insurance would, of course, be on it or whatever. And the area I live in really isn't known for crime. But still, that is one factor. I definitely don't want to leave it outside. You no, know, anything can happen. Um, I'm optimistic kind of guy. I'm thinking always the worst case scenario and things. You know, you always got to hope for the best paying for the worst so we are going to definitely want to keep it inside for theft reasons also but another reason is the plastics on it I don't, I don't want the sun to fade out it's definitely something I don't want to happen and just for you know out in the weather I don't want it out in the weather uh, we shouldn't get snow here but you guys get the point uh, you definitely don't want it out in the conditions and out overnight uh, for theft reasons so we got to make room in the garage by selling this 850 and getting into the side-by-side -side. like I said in the beginning of this video this is probably my favorite four-wheeler I've ever driven because it's so much fun you know if it had a little bit bigger tires on it and I talked about this in previous videos if it had bigger tires on it and already was snorkeled already had the rad kit it would make sense financially to to keep this one and not have went into an XMR but you know when I was pricing things out on building this one into what I wanted it to look like and be like it made more sense for me to go ahead and buy the 1000 XMR because it already had the snorkel the rad kit the bigger tires and had everything I needed on it already you know building it is half the fun I've you know I've built everything on my truck I bought the thing completely bone stock you guys know that and I built that thing up into what it and into what it is today and that was you know so much fun I had so much fun doing that but with the four-wheeler financially you know it didn't make any sense whatsoever uh, from a financial perspective and I could you know make the videos on installing things on the 850 and benefit it from that way by making the videos but I just don't think the margin was there so I went ahead with the 1000 XMR which of course install videos are gonna happen on that I'm in the final works of getting parts ordered for that right now should be ordered no later than next week new parts for the 1000 XMR I'm always working on things I'm always grinding behind the scenes you guys don't see you know there might only be two or three videos a week but there's always something every single day I'm trying to do for the uh, YouTube channel like for instance just two days ago I ordered uh, hundred and fifty dollars worth of camera equipment to improve the YouTube quality and, and improve the uh, you know video quality on the channel so I'm looking forward to getting that. I ordered that off Amazon, so I should get that within the next, you know, three or four days. Go ahead and do a little dirt, dirt road pull. Whoa, oh my God, she gets sideways so easily on this dirt road. I can't even give her any throttle. Jesus. Don't want to give her too much hell. <laughs> I don't want to make those guys trying to buy this thing thinking I'm racking it out on the last day. That's not happening. This thing can definitely take that power. No problem. Oh, we'll check out the other river real quick. If you even want to call it a river, more like a creek. This one's not too bad. I need to come out here and make some foot fishing videos for you guys been talking about that for a while I just haven't got to it with all the things going on with the truck and the Can-Am speaking of things going on with the truck if you guys interested on the status of the headlight build I did talk to Travis a couple days ago headlight build is in progress like I said he is in Houston he's based out of Houston where his shop is and his business so it did get hit pretty hard by the hurricane so he is having to reboot his business reorder things that he lost you know all around a shitty situation for Travis so of course I told him you know full support to him 
uh, you know, take as long as he possibly uh, wants, of course, to get the headlight build done. Uh, but we are looking forward to that pretty soon. Don't see any fish jumping around here either. We do have a part ordered for the 850 as well. That's going to be a video here coming up soon. Uh, there is one thing kind of small wrong with the four-wheeler. I'm not going to give it away right now. Some of you guys already know about it. But there is one small thing wrong with this four-wheeler. Not mechanically, of course. It's a cosmetic issue. But we are getting it fixed. I already ordered the new part. And we will be making a video on that before I sell this. So be expecting that within the next few days as well as a video. Because, of course, I'm not going to sell anything that has something wrong with it i'm not that kind of guy i've never been that kind of guy i literally on my second truck i had and my first truck, my first truck i fixed before i sold it my second truck i spent like fifteen hundred dollars and just repairing it before i sold it because you know selling something some selling something to somebody broken is not something that i do not something i'm about so i always fix something if anything's wrong with anything i sell i can guarantee it's going to get fixed before i sell it and uh, this thing, if you are interested in buying it, um, I do have a four-year warranty on it. If you would like the warranty, I can sell it to you with the bike. But if you don't want the warranty, I can sell the bike for a lower cost. So, like I said, if you're interested in it, hit me up on DMs. We can talk about it there. But I do suggest the four-year warranty because anything can happen with these Can-Ams. It can snap axles. Differentials could go out. Transmissions could slip and uh belts you know it doesn't cover belts the product but it will cover the installation and the warranty so it's just some things to think about warranty is always good to have on these can-ams or any other bike because anything can happen at any time you can have the most reliable experience with a product and then the next product kind of the same brand it could go to complete crap you just never know what's going to happen but this one right here i will say has been reliable as heck to me i mean i haven't really put it through anything crazy it's never been in mud before it's only been on dirt roads like this because i mean it's self-explanatory the tires wouldn't even be able to take it but it's been a hell of a lot of fun i'm definitely going to miss it but we got to get a side by oh i haven't even talked about that why do we have to get a side by side let's talk about that really quick so a side by side is what i'm working on because main reason it would be safer for the wife and child to ride in a side-by-side -side protected by a cage rather than riding on the back of the four-wheeler and having to get off every single time i go into a deep mud hole or anything sketchy they of course i have to get off because you know when you hit a mud hole for the first time you can go into it thinking it's really shallow it can be on the middle of a field and it can be a mud hole out in the middle of a field and you're thinking oh this thing's only you know a foot or two deep you could hit it and you could go right to the bottom. So, of course, they get off before any mud holes hit, which sometimes delays in filming when we're out there on the, at the ATV parks. And just from a safety perspective, it's smart. So that's my first reason, a safety perspective. That's why I want a side-by-side, -side. safe, more safe for them. Uh, secondly, uh, of course, I would be driving it, making videos out of it as well. But, you know, mainly they'd be driving it because they'd be recording me and my brother on the 1000 XMR and the 850 XMR which a lot of you guys love those videos. So we're trying to improve the aspect of filming. Uh, another thing, we could carry camera equipment. I do have a lot of camera equipment. My brother has a lot of camera equipment. We could carry it in the side-by-side, -side, carry a cooler better. I mean, of course, we could carry a cooler in this thing as well, but you guys get what, I'm, what I mean. It's just more room in a side-by-side -side in the back of it. And we could carry camera equipment and a cooler a lot easier in a side-by-side. -side. Uh, another reason is winching. The winching capabilities of a side-by-side -side of course, we could upgrade the, you know, 1000 or 850 XMRs with a better winch uh, system. But the winch it's going to come with, I'm going to order it with or buy it with, is going to be a 4,500-pound synthetic winch. Kyle's looking at me. But anyway, it's going to be a 4,500-pound synthetic winch, which is definitely going to be better to get us out of mud holes. You guys are always asking us, well, you know, why we don't hit the holes harder, uh, why we don't, uh, you know, just go boss to the wall. That's what we want to do. That's what getting a side-by-side -side is going to help us and able to do. I mean, of course, just like in the last video, you guys seen we winched up to a tree uh, with a uh, strap, with a winch connect. You know, we can think of things to get us out, but why not make it a little easier by having a bigger side-by-side, -side, something that's heavier, something that's not going to move as easily as 
say my brother's 850 as he's trying to winch me out he might be moving the win it might be moving towards me his atv because it's so light um so it's just a you know a lot of things a side by side coming to the channel would bring it just makes a lot of sense and i'm really looking forward to it so we got to move this 850 as quick as possible so we can jump into a side by side very very soon so with all that said i hope you did enjoy the video i'm gonna make it back to the house right now end out this video i'm gonna edit it up for you guys i am working on another video right now so be expecting an upload either tomorrow or the next day as well but i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did please leave a like down below it helps so much with the youtube search results and helps to grow the channel so i'd really appreciate it guys but with all that said i'll see you guys in the next one peace good lord they got my neighbors good son Hey.